Hi guys, so let's have a look at how to slice shapes in Affinity Designer on the iPad. Now mind you, this works equally well on the desktop, PC or Mac, either one. The commands are the same, just in slightly different locations. Now shapes and designs and simple designs or complex designs are equally um, possible with this method. You simply need Affinity Designer, and there are some simple examples given in the following um, designs, and they, they end up as vector results. To begin, create a new image base. Now I used 1256 by 1997 pixels. You can use any size shape you like, just select the shape to use for this exercise. Now you can use the transparent background or a, or a clear background or a white back, whatever background you like. I ended up using white rather than transparent and I've got it in portrait mode. As I say, it doesn't really matter for this exercise. Now we're going to start with just one shape, an easy rectangle that will cut or slice diagonally. So from the shapes tools, drag out a rectangle. You can see that and you know where that is. Zoom in so you can see what you're doing. The size really doesn't matter, but it's easier if it's a little larger. And of course, as I've mentioned before, I'm using an iPad Mini 6. Fabulous little device. So I just use the two finger approach to scroll out or to enhance, enlarge the image. And you can see we've got one layer there it's a, and it's a rectangle. But we've got to change that. So select the layer, then select the edit option and convert to curves. That rectangle will now become a curve. Check the layer, it's now a curve. And you must convert any shape to a curve in order to accomplish what we're going to do. Select the node tool. The next steps are fairly important, so take care. Notice the corner dots or handles have changed slightly. One corner is now a red dot. That's your active corner. Not that it really matters in this particular case, but you can see that the corner dots have changed. With the layer selected, change the fill to transparent and the stroke to a width of two pixels. You can see the fill circle there is now no color and the stroke, which is the border around the color, is now active and I've set it to two pixels wide. You can't see it there, but I'm in the stroke studio, which is just below the black dot on the right hand side there. Set your stroke to two pixels. Quite easily to see then. Next, with the node tool selected and the layer still selected, tap the top left corner dot. You can see the little blue dot there now and your context bar is active down the bottom. Select break from the context toolbar and nothing obvious happens except the break option is now greyed out. Next, select the bottom right corner dot and again tap break in the context toolbar. You should now have two layers. Easy. Select the Move tool from the toolbar. Move the bottom layer slightly away from the other layer. And you can see there I've pulled it down a little bit down and to the left. So you now have the top half of the triangle and the bottom half, uh, rectangle, sorry, and the bottom half of the rectangle. Now let's close the triangles. Select the Node tool again, and you can see the dots at each end of the lines. The active end is the red end. To close the triangle, just tap close in the context toolbar. It's as simple as that. You don't have to draw another line, just tap close. Now that's the active triangle, and that's what it'll look like. One complete triangle. Select the other layer, and again tap close, and now you have two complete triangles. Couldn't be easier. You can now change the fill color to whatever you like, or none. Indeed, you can do what you like. They're two separate layers, they're two separate triangles. 
Other shapes are just the same, although they can be a bit trickier. Donuts, in particular, can be especially tricky. You can see I've got a donut there, and I've removed the, um, the side menu, but that's all right. What we've got there is the outer rings of the donut. And you can separate those, but it's much easier if you're using circles. Now, circles are easier. They're the same as rectangles. Just draw your circle or pull your circle out. I should be from the tools, convert it to a curve and split it. So thanks for watching. I hope you've gained some ideas and insights for creating your own work in designer. And don't forget to subscribe.